In this video, we're going to talk about how to create a battery-powered electric motor, a very simple design. And we're also going to talk about how it works. So what you need is a 1.5 volt AA battery. You could use a Duracell or an Energizer battery or another brand, as long as it's one of those high performance AA batteries. And you need a light screw or a light metal pin and also a magnet, preferably a powerful neodymium magnet. Now, before we continue, I do want to mention that if you haven't subscribed already to this channel, feel free to do so. And also, I'm going to post some links in the description section below of this video with more science projects and demonstrations. So feel free to take a look at that when you get a chance. Now, once you set up this design, once you connect the battery, the metal pin and the motor, what you need to do next is take a wire, attach it to the positive terminal of the battery, and then connect it to the magnet. Once you tap the magnet with it, it will begin to spin. Now, the direction in which it rotates depends on the magnet's orientation, whether you have the north pole facing up or the south pole facing up. If you reverse the polarity of the magnetic field by flipping the magnet, the direction of rotation will reverse as well. But let's see a demonstration of this entire experiment in action. Let's go ahead and watch the clip. Now let's talk about how this works. There's something called a Lorentz force, which is a, essentially a magnetic force. And this magnetic force is exerted by the magnetic field on a moving charge. So let's say we have a positive charge and it's moving in this direction. And there's a magnetic field represented by the symbol B. There's gonna be a magnetic force acting on this charge, which is known as the Lorentz force. That magnetic force is equal to the strength of the magnetic field times the magnitude of the charge Q times the velocity of that moving charge. If the charge is not moving, the magnetic field will not exert a magnetic force on that charge. In the case of a current carrying conductor, if we have a current flowing through a wire represented by the symbol I in the presence of a magnetic field, the magnetic field will exert a magnetic force or a Lorentz force on the moving charges in this conductor. And the formula for this is the magnetic force is equal to the strength of the magnetic field B times the current I times the length of the conductor times sine of the angle. Theta is the angle between the magnetic field vector and the current vector. When the angle is 90, the magnetic force is at its maximum value. The reason for this is sine 90 is equal to 1. If the angle is 0, sine 0 is equal to 0. So that tells us that if the magnetic field is parallel to the current, the force, the magnetic force acting on the current or on a conductor where the moving charges are, will be equal to 0. So to get the maximum Lorentz force, you want the magnetic field and the direction of the current to be perpendicular to each other. So let's apply this information to the motor that we have in this experiment. Current is going to flow from the positive terminal of the battery to the negative terminal of the battery. And this is conventional current. Keep in mind that electron flow is actually in the other direction. But we're going to make use of conventional current. So the current is flowing to the motor in that direction. Now let's assume that the top part of the motor is the, the north pole of it and the bottom part is the south pole. The magnetic field flows upward 
from the North Pole around the magnet to the South Pole. And it does the same on the other side as well. But we're going to focus on this point here. We're going to try to find the magnetic force, the direction of the magnetic force at that point. So at that point, we can see that the current is going in the negative x direction. The magnetic field outside of the magnet is going in the negative y direction. So we can put a magnetic field vector here. Now using the right hand rule, we can determine the direction of the magnetic force at that point. So to use the right hand rule, you want to point your thumb in the direction of the current. And then your remaining four fingers, you want to point it in the direction of the magnetic field. So this is the current, this is the magnetic field, and make sure to use your right hand in this case. Now, the direction in which your right hand opens up to, that's where the force is coming out. So if you do this correctly, the force should be coming out of the page or out of the palm of your hand. So to represent out of the page or in a positive Z direction, we use a dot inside of a circle. So what that means for this particular motor is that it would be spinning in this direction, that is in the clockwise direction. But if you flip the magnet where the south pole is facing upward, then the rotation will change. It will no longer be in the clockwise direction, but in the counterclockwise direction. So now you know how this battery powered electric motor works. So that's basically it for this video. By the way, for those of you who want to see more science projects and demonstrations, feel free to take a look at the links in the description section below of this video. I'll be posting some more videos there uh, for those of you who have an interest in this type of stuff. So that's it for this video. Thanks again for watching.